Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about short-term health insurance and what that means. And, and let's break it down honestly, okay? Because I know a lot of you, I'm licensed in 18 different states, been doing insurance for eight years. I've talked to thousands of people. I know what they've been told. I know a lot of agents will lie about certain things. They will over-promise about certain plans, under-deliver. Uh, so I'll give you the honest truth about what you're getting into with short-term health insurance, okay? Short-term plans, also known as non-ACA plans. Uh, there was a time about four or five years ago where the government was only allowing us to write those plans for three months. So they were really, truly only supposed to be kept, you know, in the middle of a job or until you got on an Obamacare plan or, or something like that. Then when Trump was in office, one of his main things was to make uh, uh, options more accessible in, in all states. Uh, the Obamacare rates were skyrocketing every year. These plans were a good way to do that. So he extended the coverage in most states to not only a year of coverage, but all the way up to three years. So whenever you hear about short-term insurance, it's not about the length of time you could be on the plan anymore, because most of the time the plans will go a whole year, which is the same amount of time an Obamacare or an ACA compliant plan will. The nice thing though, certain states, it will allow you to sign up for three years where the plan will auto renew year two and three, okay? Um, these plans are fantastic for catastrophic. We're gonna get into that. Um, they're much, much less expensive for an individual or family than a full-blown ACA compliant plan, okay? And I talk to so many people. They'll say the same thing. I never go to the doctor, Joe. I just wanna make sure I'm covered. If something catastrophic happens, if I break my arm and I got a $50,000 bill, or even worse than that, I'm diagnosed with cancer and I have a half million dollars in medical bills, I want to make sure I'm covered, but you can't get me to go to the doctor. Okay. These are fantastic plans for those types of people. Now I will say, this is again, me being honest, they're not for everybody. Okay. There are, these plans will not cover any major preexisting conditions. And I don't mean somebody who's in their fifties taking blood pressure meds or cholesterol meds or somebody with a thyroid issue. I mean, if you're diabetic, if you have serious asthma, if you've had cancer, um, there's certain uh, health issues where you cannot even get on these plans, okay? But they won't cover any uh, pre-existing. Uh, another example I'd give you is if you broke your arm last month and you were going to have surgery next month, you can't get on a plan like this and it's going to cover it, okay? That's what the ACA plans are for that cover uh, pre-existing. The good stuff, though, is innumerable with these plans. They, all of them in, in many states offer nationwide PPO networks much better than you can get through the ACA or the Obamacare compliant plans. What a lot of people will do is they will go with a high deductible and then add supplements so they can keep their costs down. Because you go higher deductible, you take on more risk, you add supplements or riders to pay a lot of that risk in the, the most common scenarios you can meet it. So just like everything, I, I like to give examples for this type of stuff, okay? Um, so you got a family here of four, and, and these plans, I, I'll, I'll also add a caveat, they vary widely uh, um, in, in different states. Uh, for instance, um, the state of, let me think, like certain spots of Florida, these plans might be kind of expensive, these non-ACA or these short-term plans, where in Indiana, Ohio, Arizona, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, so many other states, the, the rates are fantastic. For the same plan that you could sign up for in one state, it might be twice the cost in another state. And that's the same with Obamacare. But let me give you an example of like, this would be kind of like an, an example in Chicago. You got this family of four. There's a Blue Cross plan available on the marketplace. It has an 8150 deductible. It is in a smaller HMO network, 1750 a month for, for that family of four. Now this family, I'm assuming they don't qualify for subsidy either. That's another caveat. If, you, if you're low income, I'm happy to take you through the Obamacare system, see if we can get you subsidy. But a lot of families, you know, they work, they make a decent living. The government says they make too much for Obamacare. You know, they're relatively healthy. They eat well, they stay active. They don't want to be paying $17.50 a month for insurance or even more in certain states. So go with something like this. You have the big PPO network. This is just an example. Allstate United Healthcare offers these types of plans. There's other carriers as well. But this example, 5,000 deductible, nationwide PPO, it's 750 a month. A lot of times you'll see that the rates are less than half of a lot of the ACA plans, okay? And then that, the advantage is, we can even go to a 10,000 deductible here. 
Some people want to do that. They say, I don't care. I just want to make sure if I have a half million dollar bill, I'm not you know, going into bankruptcy. So 10,000 deductible, probably close to five, 600 bucks a month for this family. And then this would be my recommendation. Uh, uh, there's supplements you can add that would pay this entire deductible. If you had an accident, if you broke your arm, broke your leg, if you end up in the hospital, if you're diagnosed with critical illness, there's all different types of things we can add that are relatively inexpensive to pay that deductible in the most common ways you can meet it. So if you're looking for catastrophic coverage, uh, short term is a, a fantastic option in a lot of states. So you can always reach out to me uh, this year, 2023. Of course, the Obamacare rates are going up. Uh, I think like we're seeing eight to 10% on average. They tend to go up every year. So these plans look better and better as time goes on. Of course, these plans rates go up too every year, the short term, because everybody's a year older um, and rates reflect that because as, as you age, there's more risk uh, for a health issue as, as you would understand. So reach out 708-566-6589 and I will do an evaluation in five minutes and see if this is the route to go or if the ACA is better uh, or if something even uh, else out there is better. So look forward to hearing from you.